Lisa L. Wiggins, the Certified Financial Educator, here with you on this episode of Winning with Wiggins, where we win, we win, we win. All right, guys, and we are back. So today is April 11th, 2020. We are on day 11 of our 30 steps in 30 days of winning with money. And so every day this month, this month of April, which is National Financial Literacy Month in America, I am coming in and sharing with you tips, information, tools to help you to win with money, which in, in this season, in this, in this uh, time that we're in is even more crucial than Ever. And I know you guys are feeling the financial impacts of what's going on around us in our economy. So I want to encourage you that it's going to get better. We will recover. We will come out better than when we came in. I hope you believe that today. And there's some things that we can do while we're in our incubation period, while we're being quarantined and doing the social distancing. There are some things that you can do. Um, to ensure and to help ensure that you are still building wealth, that you're still maintaining those those uh, good, uh, safe financial money behaviors, right? And so on today, today is, uh, again, the 11th. So today is our step 11. Now, on the last couple of days, I shared with you um, the benefits of the first, I think it was on uh, day nine, I told you that you've got to start spending less than your net check, right? You've got to start spending less than what we bring in. There's so many millions of, of Americans who are living paycheck to paycheck, and that's not God's design for your life, I'm telling you. Um, and so we've got to learn to start spending less than we bring home so that we can save, so that we can invest, so that we can enjoy life a little bit better than what we've been struggling and get just getting by. Do you receive that? Are you tired of just getting by, right? And so on day, again, day nine, I started talking about spending less than your check. And then yesterday on day 10, um, April 10th, I began to share the benefits, some of the benefits that you can um, realize when you start to spend less than you bring home. And so I'm going to recap some of those benefits for you now. Um, from yesterday, the first six benefits that I shared with you yesterday on Facebook and um, on Instagram and Twitter were six benefits to spending less than your check. You begin to save that's number one. You begin to be able to save when you spending less, when you're spending less than you bring home, you actually put yourself in a position to be able to build up that emergency fund. Um, number two, you will be able to explore possibilities that were not open to you previously. So when we spend everything that we bring home, we limit the possibilities of what we can do. So when you begin to uh, train yourself to spend less than you actually bring home, less than that check, then you, um, ex you, you open up those possibilities. You begin to be able to explore other options, things you can do. Number three, you can eliminate debt. How many of us want to eliminate debt, get that debt gone, debt free, hallelujah. So you get to eliminate debt because you can spend more of that money on paying down debt. Let's see, um, week number four, you can retire in style and live the good life. Who wants to retire in style and live the good life when you're retired? And, and my personal, my personal goal is to retire early. I'm going to be retired in my fifties. I'm, I'm, I'm claiming that and I'm working hard toward that goal. Um, number six benefit from yesterday that I shared with you was, um, you get to, um, I'm sorry, number five, number five was you can build wealth. And that's so key because this, this principle is, uh, spending less than your check. It really is the, the number one principle that will allow you to build wealth. There's no way that if you're spending everything that you bring in, 
that you will ever be, ever be able to build wealth. And so that's number five. You can begin to build wealth if you spend less than your check. And then number six from yesterday was eliminate financial emergencies. So those things that normally would feel like and look like and be a financial emergency, they're no longer giving, giving, don't have that same weight to it because now you've built up funds and you have that stash that you can go to, to cover those type things that come up unexpectedly. So that was number six from yesterday. So today on day 11, I am going to continue with these benefits. I have six more, six more benefits for you to share with you today of, of, of spending, how spending less than your check can help you. So number seven for today on day 11 is you won't worry over work as much. Have you ever been in a position at a job where you, um, you, you knew it was just time for you to go. Your season was up for whatever reason. It was just, you know, not working out. You, you just didn't feel good about going to this job every day anymore. Um, but you were so financially strapped that you had to stay. You felt stuck. Well, when you begin to spend less than your check and you begin to, to build up those savings and that cash and, and begin to be able to invest in earning a return on your, on your money, and you put yourself in a position to do those things, then you don't have to worry about work as much because now you got options. Remember we talked about, I think it was in, in step number, not step, but benefit number two, you, you can begin to explore possibilities where they weren't, there weren't any there before. So that was number seven for today, um, or number one for today of the six steps for our benefits for today of spending less than your check. Number uh, two for today is uh, you won't worry um, about, uh, you won't have financial stress. So you'll have less financial stress and just less stress overall, less stress overall. Money can, can break relationships. It can, it can cause a lot of damage in a lot of different ways in a lot of different situations. And when we begin to spend less than our check, we put that money back. We're investing those funds. We're, we're doing um, things to uh, bring wealth. We're, we're uh, using those funds to invest in and do those things that build instead of tear down, then you, you're not as, as stressed. You're, you're just not. Um, again, like I talked about with the, um, when the emergencies come up, they're just not, you know, as, as big a deal as they were when the financial emergencies come up. So that was number, uh, two number. Uh, no, no, that was number two. Yeah, that was number two for today. I'm sorry. I'm looking at a sheet of 12 because I had six for yesterday and six for today. So I'm trying to follow um, the six for today. Number three for today, it's satisfying to achieve. Um, can you imagine how you would feel if you were able to get to the point where your paycheck isn't just being depleted before your next paycheck? Can you imagine how, how that would feel if you get to half halfway, you know, toward the end of the month and you still have hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars still in your bank account because you've chosen and you've opted to do the things that you need to do to ensure that you are not spending that entire check. So you get to have that satisfaction of achievement. That was number three. Number four for today is it opens up more options. And, and I talked about that a little bit with the other, um, the other benefit from yesterday about how you get to explore uh, possibilities that weren't there, but it does, it opens up more options. What are, what are some options? What are some things that you didn't have the option to do um, before? because you were financially uh, tied up because you were living paycheck to paycheck and, and, and choosing um, those money habits and those money behaviors that kept you in a place where you could not do anything more than what you were doing because there were no funds left. All the money was gone. It was being spent on this and spent on that on unnecessary things. So that's number uh, four for today. And number five for today is... You can seriously plan for your future. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited about being able to plan for my future and, 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 
and just really, I mean, and I understand that many are the plans of, of, a, of a man and what we have in our heart to do. But God, of course, he orders our steps and it's his uh, will that will prevail. But as we're planning, we can dream. And we can, we can share with God what our desires are. Like, like the word in Psalm says, we can share with him the desires of our heart. We can tell him, Lord, this is what I, I, I desire. And, and if you delight yourself in him and continue to live and delight yourself in him, he will give you those desires. So let's start spending less than our checks so that we can dream and we can see those dreams come to fruition. And so we get to plan, seriously plan for our future when we spend less than our check. And then the last one for today, the last, the sixth step for today of the benefits of spending less than your check. So we had the six yesterday and now this is the sixth one for today is guilt free fun money. I'm talking about vacations. I'm talking about cruises. I'm talking about going to Dubai. I'm talking about doing things that interest you that benefit you and, and help you to have an even more quality of life. And you don't feel guilty about it because you didn't run up a credit card. You didn't put it on, 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 you didn't go get a loan to do it. Um, and you're able to enjoy life even more and have that guilt-free money because you've determined that I am going to live a prosperous life and I'm going to be a good steward over what the Lord has blessed me with, with this income. And we're going to do it right. We're going to do it right. And so I encourage you today. Um, again, these are the 30 steps in 30 days of winning with money. And I hope that you will continue to tune in to um, this broadcast, to my videos, to my audios, check out the flyers that I'm doing this month to really help. I really help, hope I'm helping somebody. I, I really do. Um, we got to change our mindset and our behaviors and I'll continue Throughout the month of April, I will begin to uh, give a little bit more detail on uh, budget and, and different things that we can do. And, and I, I probably I think tomorrow we're going to get into um, how the how. So we talked about the fact that spending less than your check is um is beneficial to you and it can impact your life financially. We talked about that. We talked about six benefits on yesterday of spending less than your check. We talked about the six benefits today of spending less than your check. So tomorrow, I think we need to go into the how. What do I need to do? How do I begin to get to the place where I can spend less than my check? And we'll continue on throughout this month of April um, as we honor uh, National Financial Literacy Month and hope to encourage you, hope to help change some minds about money and have you soaring and winning with your money. So again, I am Lisa L. Wiggins, the Certified Financial Educator. I'm so excited for you and this journey that you're on. I know that it's going to be fruitful if you put in the work. It's going to be fruitful. You will see a harvest. Go ahead and sow. I'm telling you, go ahead and sow, learn, pick up these tips and tools, um, begin to, to, to meditate and just change your mind about how you look at money and how you deal with money. Um, this tool that we have, um, at our, uh, at our disposal of money and you will see some things change and shift in your life. So again, here on Winning with Wiggins, I'm so excited, so excited that you joined me here. I hope you will join me again. Um, for the rest of this month, check out my flyers, check out the uh, videos, check out the audios. And um, I will see you here tomorrow on Winning with Wiggins, where we win, we win, we win. All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow on day 12. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday.